You're the one they call the prophetess, aren't you? Congratulations on passing the trial. Ah, uh, there you are. The Grandmaster already briefed me on our mission. Shall we go? Yes, the ruin isn't far from here. Just meet me at the Myrids Tower in the Northern Heartland. I will wait for you there once I finish my preparations. Madame? Walk blessed, friend. Sure, where to? There you are. Here. I got us a map from the Archmagister. Do you see that? We're here, and back there is the ruin where we'll meet Pegast. So, I'd say, let's go. You lead the way. I'll cover your back. was all of them. Look, over there. That must be the ruin.
careful. alone for a couple of hours and then this happens but there were just too many we did our best madame and you did jack shit that's what you did three of our people are dead and now the goddamn entrance is blocked up this is fucking unbelievable get out of here now i need to think hmm that doesn't sound good you out of all the goddamn people in this goddamn land you are the last person i expected to see here well, congratulations. Though I don't have the slightest idea what good getting wasted on weird droge can possibly do. Nightshade Elixir isn't just some weird droga. It's a centuries-old recipe that was already being used by the first vassals. Maybe you should have known that before judging our traditions. Well, now I do. And just who exactly are you? Kalia Sakaresh, Keeper of the First Sigil. I was exalted together with the one you call the Prophetess. Sakarish? You're the girl from the village. Maybe. Have you heard of me? Well, there are some interesting rumors revolving around you. Let's put it that way. But who am I to complain? Two keepers are certainly better than those idiots from the guard. Actually, you've come at just the right time. You'll be surprised, but I've found myself in almost exactly the same trouble as in Old Rashengrad. Almost. This time, it was bandits. They ran in here about two hours ago and charged through us like we were bloody beginners. Well, that's the problem. Do you see that hallway over there? It leads down into the ruin. And now, guess what those fuckers did? They dashed right into it, and somehow succeeded in accidentally activating some kind of mechanism that locks down the whole passage. Now, anyone who gets too close to it gets roasted like a chicken. So now we can't go down, and they can't come up. No, they didn't wear the robes that the ones in Alt Rashengrad did, and scared as if they were running from something. My guess is that they were trying to hide from something and thought the ruin was deserted. We believe so, yes. That is what makes the whole thing so annoying. <laughs> Somehow, yes, but would you place the button to deactivate the trap right next to the door it's supposed to protect? We need to find another way down, but at least we've got a clue. Some kind of hidden entrance. We're still stuck getting it open, though. Come, I'll show you. Who knows? Maybe you'll see something in the past that might help us. Here we go. And before you ask, our dead buddy on the platform was already there when we got here. No idea what's keeping his body from decaying. It looks like some kind of magic to me. So I'd say just take a look around. I'm sure the bells have something to do with it. No.
Maybe. Uh, are you all right? You look pale. You did? Then this mage woman was right. What did you... Seriously? By the prophet's ass, that's, um, convenient. But who am I to complain? So, be my guest. Just make sure that you don't accidentally collapse this place, okay? Now I'll eat. Oh, blazes. way back up again, trust me. And once he has, we can deal with the steel crash. Oh, bet. <laughs>
someone's there. Wrong place, wrong time! Fucking <laughs> scum! You'll pay for that!
There we go. That trick has yet to disappoint me. So what do you say now, you piece of shit? I'll make you pay for what you... Well, that's just great. Another weapon-wielding bitch. Put down your weapon. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, is that so? All of your men are dead. And even if you manage to get past us, there are dozens of guards further up. So put down your weapon, or you will regret it. Such determination. All right, then. Die! As you wish. Are you... are you all right? I fell, thank Malthus, into a thicket farther down the ruin. It was some kind of machine room, at least that's what it looked like to me. I tried to deactivate them, we'll see if it worked. Anyway, do you see the camp down there? We should take a look at it. And I doubt it's the fruit of honest labor. So that's what this was all about. They f here to protect their loot. <sighs> Bring this to the order. Maybe we can find out who they stole it from. No, you can't do that. Please stay right there. Who are you? I'm not one of them. Please don't hurt me. I, oh, by the righteous path, what did I get myself into? Alice. Alice Summerstone. I'm just a simple man, a farmer by me path. Maybe you know one of me girls. She sells our bread at the market, Mondas de Freiras. Yes, exactly. That's her. I th Aye, of course. Do you know who Landlord Borek is? He's one of the most influential landlords of the Farmer's Coast. Both the Guard and the Order get their food from his lands. What does he have to do with this? Everything. He's a pathless bastard. And all of this, all of this, is his fault. I swear it by me name. Why? Because he's a criminal, that's why. <sighs> believe me, I know how that sounds. But it's the truth. You have to believe me. The tolls he collects from his tenants are so high that we hardly have anything left to eat. And those who don't pay get beaten up by his lackeys. But that's not all of it. He also knows the relata. Aye, who else? They believe themselves above Malfoy, which is also why no one does anything about them. No. No, this money isn't his. I had debts. It all started three years ago, when we had a very bad harvest and I couldn't pay me toll for the first time. Borak gave me a loan, but he said that I'd have to pay interest next time. Well, I think you can figure out the rest. I... I knew from a friend that there was this man in the Undercity, this... Carrick. And he said that he and his men might be willing to help me, if they would get money from it. Apparently, they even had a sense of honor and path-abidingness, if you can call it that. They... they're from a traveling merchant. But I swear by me name we didn't hurt him. When we had the money, all Sunfire started breaking loose. Some kind of... Woman appeared, all veiled and dressed in black, and in the wink of an eye, she killed two of Carrick's men. We tried to fight her at first, but then we ran for it. Well, and ended up in this ruin. She didn't speak much, but yes, 
She had dark robes. And she was... I know. I was there. Karik was so mad about all that happened with this witch woman, you know? I think he just wanted to get his men to safety. But still, you're right. I was a fool to trust him. And I... Me farm and me family. I... Please, it's the right thing to do. If I don't have the money by the next turn of the moon, Borak and his lackeys will change their tune. And I know what that means. Hmm. It's a tough call. I can understand his motivation, but that doesn't change the consequence of his actions. If we let him run, we legitimize his crime, so to speak. You should justify your crime before the tribunal. Explain to them what Borak did, and they might judge you lightly. <laughs> judge lightly? You don't really believe that, do you? They don't care about the why, and even if they do, it doesn't change a damn thing about the fact that my family is lost without this money. Maybe, but it doesn't change that you're at least partially responsible for what happened here. But it's your call. No, but... Oh, damn, damn, damn. What did I get myself into? By the prophet's ass, you really got them all. You don't stop surprising me, that's for sure. And neither do you, Keeper Sakuresh. Thanks for deactivating the traps up there. Who's our shackled friend here? He doesn't look like one of the bandits. No, but he's guilty nonetheless. Can you escort him to Ark? To Ark? Sure. Jaquil, Joral, you take care of that. All right then. I'd say if this machine is somewhere in this ruin, it's here. I suggest you two take a look around. We'll cover your back in the meantime. <laughs> 